where has this film been all my life? This was <laughs> so good. It was so Altman. It's such an expression it's of very art. fucking Altman. Jared, I, it's just I think it's the first one that really is Altman. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, just him doing his thing, and it's just a, a marvel to watch. I often find th- uh, this is one of those I had not seen. Which Chris, people... I very nearly picked that specific screenshot. Just I, I yeah, well, I can change if you want to. No, no, I I, I find with Altman stuff. like. Half the time, it's like, you're just fucking making this up as you go along, aren't you? He literally We're, was. He in literally this film, was. he was he literally making it up. Problem, now, when yeah. it works, when it works, as in, for example, Nashville, which I think is not even a minor masterpiece, but a major masterpiece, it fucking works. Mm-hmm. Here, you're going like, it's just kind of like, do 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 and where is this movie going? And then... You th- I, I think I got it. By and the- then it goes. Yeah, I got it. It does. Halfway through. It does, it does it find does it like, oh, and she, actually, When she that's... jumps into the pool, the movie Everything goes. changes. Yeah. Oh, it's three different funny. films. It's it's the that's... beginning. It's that it's, it happens after the pool, and it's the ending. It's like they're all just, you know, him exploring different modes. I think of 70s uh, femininity, you know, and uh, women in the 1970s and what they were doing and what they're up to. And it's like, I thought it was just a neat little slice into life, even though it was kind of weird and made up. I love the cinematography all the Oh, lot. God, mm-hmm. it's gorgeous. It really films. stretched out like the full fucking anamorphic. Oh, yeah. You know, does it, it doesn't make Palm Springs look any more attractive. It's still like a hot, miserable, dusty oh, place. It's a place. <laughs> and I've been down, I've been down, I had a, basically, we were down there for months at yeah. the beginning of this year so i'm like oh 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 like yeah, you, know, really. you don't see too many movies that are clearly about palm springs yeah and this is before it got like sort of taken over and like got super bougie at, oh like, there's um, yeah there's even one the movie scene even the movie palm springs is not this much about palm springs yeah no there's, not even there's, there's, there's a scene in the middle of the movie where they're coming back from like the airport or the the, the thing and coming back into palm springs and i recognize the, the mountain line but the thing is now you go there it's just full of windmills but back then, there were no yeah. windmills at all. It's like, oh, I know that. That's a one location I recognize. Yeah, because they wanted everyone to breathe. It's funny, though. Watch, 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 mm-hmm. watch this. Like, some of Altman's shtick, like that overlapping dialogue thing, which he's been milking since MASH, is uh-huh. absent from this movie because I know. There are very few people in it. Yes, the well said. That's that's talk. a good point. It's like that's yeah, what makes it unusual talk. as a um, Altman film. Is that there's no except in the hospital you really get because like the nurses Maybe. are talking. While... But not even like like go go back and rewatch Mash but, yeah. or McCabe and Mrs. Miller yeah. or Nashville. Yeah. Like uh, Nashville, yeah, they're all overlapping really dialogue. You this think one it's is actually you can understand what everyone's saying. It's amazing. Constantly. You have to struggle yeah, to is. hear what people are saying in those other movies. Not so much here. No, well, not I, I, I love here that like the the all the male characters. I mean, Edgar maybe a little bit is out and you know gets some time, but they're all peripheral. Like every yeah, male yeah, character yeah. is yeah. just peripheral in this. Yeah. This is not they're orbiting around the main characters, basically, yeah. um, or or not in the case or of the like, same t- character, right? Yeah, or, yeah. Ca- or, or in the case of like Tom. Who, Hi, Tom. Yeah, Hi, Tom. constantly. <laughs> oh, I love that. Guy. <laughs> like, what a that stick. was just brilliant. <laughs> It's we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go on a date when it's over that cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just starts coughing whenever he sees her or hears her, I guess. Although I admit, you know, I've kind of known a lot of gals like that who just just incessantly yapping, and you kind of like it even builds up a wall after a while. And it kind of showed that these guys are always obviously people at the uh, clinic and in her apartment are actually pretty sick of her. I think at this point. She's such an extremely lonely and sad character. Well, I know. Like, That's what drew me to her in this mm-hmm. performance, Tad. Exactly. I yeah. have to say that I think the best performance in this movie is actually Janice Rule. She it's unusual. says it's unusual. so much without saying. Without saying almost, anything. Is that really? really? Yeah, yeah, she hardly speaks at all. She hardly yeah. speaks. No, almost until no the lines. very end. Until the very end of the movie, she basically doesn't talk yeah. at all. Right. right. And and her she is such a haunting presence through oh, this she's entire very movie haunting. Yeah. because she is where these people could end up like actually it is... you know what her art does her talking for her. oh right. god yeah. yeah that's the thing it's like it's amazing that she drew on everything the bottom of the pool the, the walls. art is horrific but even her captivating. Uh, targets yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's that's one of the best scenes in the movie is yeah. when she's out there and she's shooting at that painting because you yeah. think it's probably Edgar to begin with. When the right, scene right. first starts, it's like, oh, that's why there's bullet holes in this because this piece of shit keeps shooting her fucking paintings. And then it fucking turns and you see it's her. It's her. Yeah. yeah. And she's and then you real... see those paintings later in the bar. Uh, or yes. the well, cafe. the f- I was taken just with the photography of the pools over and over again. It's just yeah. so. It's luminous because it's of the, hypnotizing. It when you get yeah. that the, the ripples of water on top of the paintings, they come to life. They yeah. move. They're yeah. like well, breathing. Then you have, it's amazing. Then you have the you have the contrast of the empty pool at the bar, the full uh, pool, the at, full the pool at the hotel. Uh-huh. Then the pool in the hotel is empty, mm-hmm. yeah. and then it's the full end. again. Yeah, and then the back to the empty pool at the bar like you have these sort of stages of yeah, this yeah. as it goes on and I, again i i this movie is going to end up being a very very mild thumbs down for me but just by the slightest margin and it's because i think the first part of the movie goes on for just too long it's like, a little bit right it's just it it overstays its welcome a little bit and then also my biggest complaint about this movie is you said this is Altman doing his own thing. I don't feel that way. This is Altman doing that David Lynch dream logic shit. And he well, so this was, that. well, hold on. This, this is terrible. Tad, you though. took the words out of my mouth. He I haven't spoken yet, but I first it. thing I was going to say was this is like David Lynch. If but it no, didn't but there's know a how parallel. funny when did it was. Eraser had come out. It's like a deadpan. Same, David same, Lynch. same year, I think. It's the same year. Same there's, year. There's right. actually these what? guys could not have influenced each other. It was simply I'm, but I'm not saying I'm not saying he's ripping him off. No, I'm saying no, he's the, making the same kind of movie. I, yeah, and he is not as good at it as Lynch. And I don't like Lynch. Like it's there's there's a disconnect in these in this movie for me because I just don't think this is Altman's wheelhouse, and I think he maybe i mean and dream logic this literally was him writing a dream that he had. yeah this is a yeah. dream that he had and he wrote right. it and made it well mind oh, you, i, I think it exposed a lot things. of things about about altman and that his head this kind of like respect for women that a lot of um directors in the 70s didn't have sure and kind of, it, uh, front and center they just want to explore their world and you know, it was there was some dream logic going on here and there. It actually, it got worse as a film going or better or whatever. It, but either way, I was 100 percent invested in their story. I didn't give a fuck about anybody else's, but because it was he did it so well, he expressed yeah. their needs, desires, and wants, and 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 petty just like foibles in dreams, and arguments so well. Just like that, in dreams, when when but, people become other people right in front yes. of your face, like that's what. Oh, happens that's exactly right. That's dream movie. logic. Okay, yeah, two things, true. two things. First of all, I, I want to also say David Lynch, but I think it's like David Lynch without a sense of its own funniness. This is it's a lot more, like Mulholland Drive. A it's lot, this deadpan. It, it actually, the uh, I was recommended Mulholland Drive as soon as the movie ended. It popped yeah, up as the next Yeah, they're almost pick. the same film in a lot of ways. <laughs> and I get yeah. that. And so that's my one comment is that I did also think of Lynch, except I don't think Lynch is funnier. And he knows he's funny. Yeah, and this he's is funny. sort of unintentional. He's more polished, but, but I think, but I think this Tad, is like, but I don't think I think Tad nailed it with his comment about the character that, of Millie being sad. I think this movie is a little sad. Oh, it's terribly really sad. You know, oh God, it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, so I, would, I would, by the time it ends, I would, I would put say, I classify it as a horror film. This is a horror movie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's 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 borderline bad, on John. something like that. You know, I, I I'll think, buy that. And I In think the that, last half, at least. I think yeah. this is my favorite Shelley Duvall performance because of the whole first half of the movie. The 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 the, to, the totality that she paints of that character of of that of that pathetic, you know, outcast, lonely, okay. sad is, woman is so vivid. But this it's is so well done. But yes. this is the thing that Scott says. Is it's like well, very few directors in the '70s had as much respect for women that Altman did because he did the story about these three women, but. Is it coming from a place of respect, or does he have contempt for these characters? Like, oh, I don't, think, he, I don't no. think he has contempt. John, for you're making a very good point. I think he I actually. Get, flipped, we should talk about this. Mash Hot Lips is like a. Totally... Oh, he was terrible in Mash. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, the, I know, think this movie. But Kate think... and Miston Miller was kind of on the bubble too. I said know? this when we watched. I said this when we watched The Last Goodbye. Is like I think Altman's cruel. I think he's sort of a. Oh, misanthrope. he is. Yes, he is. 
fucking yeah. cruel to his characters. Yes, I think he's probably. I, 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 think, a, I think he's I an asshole to but, know. You know, but I think he's cruel to the. I think he's cruel films. to the male characters as well, though. I don't, I don't think, think he's choosing. No, I, maybe he just hates everybody, and this movie's about women. So, I, 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 okay, then maybe he's, I think in he's this film missing. he's making the. Attempt, yes, you know what I'm talking about. I think he, he makes. I think he makes these women all extraordinarily sympathetic in their own way. I do too. Like, I agree with that. Pitiable. I agree with that. But, but yes, you, you pity them, but you pity them for legitimate reasons. Like, mm -hmm. like she's so lonely. Yes. Like, and, and she's trying whatever she can do to fill that hole in herself. And Sissy's character, the the naivete, you know, the 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 inexperience, the 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 the, so the, 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 the sort the sort of. Yeah, and she's goodness, so, yeah. and she's and so young in this film, and she sells it so well. The, by the way, they're the same age. This movie came same out same. a year yeah. after Carrie. Both twenty-seven. Oh, was it the year? As is after Carrie? Okay. Carrie was seventy-six. Oh, this yeah. was seventy-seven. I wish so, I'd seen so it. So she probably this. filmed them like back to back. The we first think... half of the movie is Carrie White Part Two, and yes. then uh -huh. she flips, flips it. Yeah. That's what yeah. I wanted to know. Is like, do you think Altman was sort of trading on her image of her as? The Carrie character, because it's like she put on a nightgown and it was just like, "Where's Piper Laurie?" To you know. exactly. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's between no, it's between this and Badlands and um, um, mm -hmm. Carrie. Yeah, those are mm -hmm. her first mm -hmm. big films in the in the seventies, and she's kind of naive in all of them. She's just yeah, it's kind of the same character, she's right? Amazing, but in the second half, but in when the she, second when half, she becomes the badass in this. She plays it so well. Oh my it's gosh, so she good. just and, slides and in she, perfectly. And, and Shelley Duvall's character flip of becoming this incredibly kind, protective. Like she found the thing to fill the hole in her soul, yeah. and it's taking care of Pinky. Yeah, like right. it's. Mm -hmm. And and you see her change, and she becomes much more assertive, and she becomes, you know, so and that's protective. And the movie clicked for me, like, oh, I think I finally figured out what this movie's about. Right. That's why I said I like the. But second, then at the end, better than first. Then at the end, all that shit happens, and I'm going, huh? Again, yeah. the second part. What after the after the uh, after the, third the thing act. in the pool? The third part. I thought that she might, it might have knocked something loose in her brain. Being in a coma and coming out and being just like this weird, aggressive, assertive. I mean, that yeah. is dream logic because well, I mean, she's, the a, end, she's another. He, she's another. It's actually person, very. It's, yeah. it's actually very common for people to have significant personality changes after comas. Yeah, like it, 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 that's it the, does. That's what it, I was thinking. It does. It's change true. It's very true. My, and, my, uh, okay. my my son's mother. Is, is what a, is what happened example. to her exactly? She jumped off a second floor balcony into a pool. She didn't hit her head, and all of a sudden she's unconscious and she's in a coma. She might have a, she might yeah. have oxygen deprivation. She knocked herself out when she hit the water, yeah. and then she just floated in the pool for a while oh, and okay. and was deprived of oxygen. No oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it changed her personality. So she was this aggressive, you know, kind of like the, a little bit like the um, not that's Pinky, but the other character, Naomi. Millie. Yeah, Millie. they kind of stick. Millie, she be, they change places a little bit. She becomes bit. a no. fun house. She becomes a fun house mirror version. Of yes, that. yes. Right, they change right. places, and then at the very end. Oh, let's talk about the end from the beginning. What the do you very, think very is happening? End, they're like at a the end? they're like a family now. They're yes, like a yeah. family daughter, unit. Daughter, grandmother, grandmother, what? mother, and that daughter, is absolutely yeah. a horror movie ending because it's, it was a, it's it was insane. great though. They yeah. weirdly enough, I think they worked it out. Offerings. It's like at the end of it, it's like they feel, feel like they actually all three characters worked out their stuff. Well, the and they three found a kill, way to live. The three of them kill Edgar, bury him. Well, under they that get pile. rid of Edgar, yeah. 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 Bury him yeah. under yeah. that pile of, of tires. tires that's behind you. This pile of yep. tires, and, yes. And then, and then they and live then their they lives. Own the bar, and they live the rest of their lives owning that bar. Yes, yeah, exactly that, that, right. And that 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 creepy thing was fucking creepy at the bar with that laugh. Holy shit! Oh my god, that was yes. creepy, dude. That's yeah. a real thing. I've knew someone you, yeah you'd pull on it it would drool on you yeah yeah but the laugh that it had the way the way he used the laugh though was so freaky oh, yeah. do you think well, they shot that with somebody with did, a spurt uh... gun off to the side of the oh i'm know. sure all that shit is fake dude <laughs> everything in a movie is fake I just... well yeah, i'm going with jared in this one because it's all films are great and all films even are if you want just... even if you want to use a real thing I, what I'm in my ex one experience they come in and they go no we're going to do it for you <laughs> and you're like oh, right. <laughs> i just despite all the issues I have with this thing, and, and I mean, I agree with about everything everybody's saying. For me, I'm just watching this going, okay, this came out in 77, same year as Star Wars, but this is Altman. Like, I think Nashville was a minor hit, got nominated for a million awards. It know. was, yeah, it was. It was <laughs> him come off, she just come off a of Best Actress for Carrie. This is A-list talent 
big studio. Like this is a, I'm not a test. This, this, this is, is a stage uh, release. And well, I felt. Wait, hold on. This is Spielberg. Weird as fuck. Weird Spielberg, as fuck. Lucas, uh, 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 tour thing. You can do whatever he wanted. They're like here's some money. Yeah. Go make a movie in, in Palm Springs. And they okay. so so they I think uh, as weird as fucking fuck. I think I think I think uh, Spacek won the New York Critic Best Actress <laughs> Award for this, and Sh Shelley Duvall definitely did win uh, Best Actress at Cannes for this. That sure. Year. Wow. Yeah. There were several yeah, no, awards I mean, for this movie, and none of them were from the Academy. No, right. they didn't know what to make no, of it. I don't think it got nominated for. Oh, I'm I sure it didn't make, make much money. Yeah, no, it probably didn't make. No, money, but uh, it, it was... lost anything either. No, it was. Yeah. No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Altman, one thing, this is Altman, a, a, a person. Go ahead. Literally was taking a cab to the airport, and he said, "Let's stop at 20th Century Fox. Don't turn the meter off. I'll be right back." Ran inside, talked to the producer, pitched him for about three minutes. Got got the deal, ran back outside, got in the cab, went to the LAX. Sounds about right. Our tour era, man, you could do it. But uh, yeah, this film, 70s. One, of the, one of the things you want, and this is just a personal observation, is that if you're going to watch a 70s film, you want to be immersed in the time and the place and the attitude. And this film was perfect. It's like I was watching it and my brain just kind of like switched all the way back. Mm -hmm. And I watched it. It was just this perfect little handmade all of, film all of the food in this movie is from that twitter account yeah. that posts the horrible 70s recipes yes mm -hmm. and they're making that mm -hmm. thing with the, every the, recipe that she's talking about that was yeah. the saddest was like two bags in, in, of in groceries great detail. Detail. it was Ever just seen. perfect you, the, the, the little self-contained um shrimp cocktail yeah uh, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. she's talking about making the you <laughs> like, freeze wow, a banana dip in chocolate and then roll it in rice krispies i mean yes. that was amazing like, <laughs> i didn't i didn't i, I thought those were like, you also got this it's I like those were jello until she spilled it super herself. wide like, what the fuck is that super wide yeah, screen they were shrimp cocktails i Chris? got this widescreen anamorphic cinematography which oh Super murky storytelling, mm -hmm. music. We haven't even talked about the, the music's terrible. It's, it's kind of fucking, fucking terrible. Pretty weird. It's just weird. It's, it's weird. I, I but I again, like it because I think it complements this. Well, it's picture. kind of like rambling little. It's a horror movie score, which is completely is inappropriate. Totally yeah, no, John's right. John's when, right. When, it's a horror. When movie they deploy score. it, it's never for something scary that's happening. It's just no, like that's okay, why I love no, it. It's it's knocking you off center the entire film. It's it's right. It's a juxtaposition. You know, it's a contrast. I think it works. Yeah. There's a lot of things that work. There's a lot of things that don't. But I, again, I just like, I was, I enjoyed watching it because it's a, such a time capsule of the moment. Yeah. And again, this was, cause this was a list talent in an a list studios prestige release. Yeah. Well, hold on. Stop it. Let's give James his corner because these are obviously these are your girlfriends in high school. So <laughs> I was going to say, I think I saw this movie in 78 or 79. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I was primed for it. And I've seen it about four or five times. Oh, I didn't know that. It played, a... it played with other things back when people went to theaters to art houses to watch. I uh, used to. Stuff. Yeah, I used to too. <laughs> Anyway, there used uh, to be art houses. Yeah, yeah, there used to be art houses. Uh, I, I, the one little anecdote I liked about it was uh, Altman didn't tell Alan Ladd Jr. that it was uh, based on his dream. He said he <laughs> read the short story and it was great. <laughs> and Alan, like, green lighted it. Here's yeah. a pile of money. Yeah. <laughs> Go and, make like, a movie. He didn't figure it out until you can only use time. half of this on cocaine. It's yeah, a when, yeah, yeah. Jim? Well, con. Oh, my God. Like, it, when it was being released, basically. It's too late now. It's too late now. It's based on a dream. Did he know I, that they were improvising everything? That's the Probably other not. I don't think anybody was going oh, out the problems. The, if me. there's one gimmick I love yeah, in this that's... one, that was the one where Shelley Duvall gets in the in the pinto and her dress is sticking out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was awesome. That was, awesome. Thing I that was awesome. accidental. He just kept doing it. It was so I'm beautiful. Sure it, so. It, it I'm was sure it happened by accident the first yes. time. Yes, it was yeah. an accident. And then he's like, we got to make that happen and again. He's like, this <laughs> is I love your that. That's great filmmaking. This is your character. Character. Yeah, right. it's perfect. Because mm. even after the switch, she still keeps doing yep. it. Yeah, and that's and that's and that's also so dreamlike. It's like those little details that you have in your dream where you're like, and for some reason, my Oat kept getting stuck in the door. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you're like that, very, that happens in your dream. dream you're like, I yes. will say, I will say, as a 
pedestrian and as somebody who walks everywhere, I see an awful lot of women with an awful lot of skirts caught in an awful lot of car doors. <laughs> like, it, yeah, I, and I will do the I'll I'll like wave at them and like point. Like, yeah, and now and about just... half of them and about half of them will go. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John, Actually, I wrote that time code down. Car? That might be the clip. <laughs> what? What, Chris? Is that the same year as your car? It looked like very it close. Car. Car. I had a '76. I'm not sure it's what year that was. Mobile. But is that, that a factory color or what? That is a factory that color. No, it's yeah. mustard. It's a yeah. kind but of it's mustard. not English. No. It's not English mustard. It's, it's French, French mustard. mustard. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had a we had a '78 Monza when I was a kid. And mm. the Monza is the GM version of right. the Pinto. Yeah, oh, it's so like it's it. a sad little car. I, my my grandparents had a Monza. And, uh, the 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 Gremlin was the worst. I thing. had a, yeah, that that a I had no. A, the Gremlin is redeemed by Wayne's World. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I had a '73 Camaro, and that thing was movie. yellow as the day is long. Man, '73 Camaro sounds yellow. fucking rad, though, dude. It's, it's only six cylinders. It wasn't that fast, the, but it looked good. I yeah, wanna, that I body is sick. It is a sick one, body. It is. I want to tell one quick story about the fucking Monza. Okay. My grandfather bought it. He bought it off the lot, and it was the demo car for the the lot, and that meant that it had a mix of features. It wasn't the kind of thing that you would, you know, because normally you'd go in, you'd say, "I want." It this wasn't car. factory. It was right. like. I'd want it in, you know, this color, this interior, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, six weeks later, you get your car. He needed a car right then, walked in, cash on the barrel head, drove out. It didn't have a clock. It had the <laughs> dial for the clock, but they had never it drilled the hole and installed. There was the no actual hands. clock hands in there. The it was red. The interior was white vinyl. And oh, it had black yeah. shag carpet. Good oh, yeah, Lord. Dude, fuck yeah. <laughs> First of all, those that are Nazi colors, but keep going. Worst. It is one of the worst cars I have ever spent an extended period of time in. And my number one memory of that car <laughs> is doing is cocaine going... off that shag carpet. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, that's you the do that. Coke. You do you do off car, the dashboard. You, you dashboard. All, yes. Plastic and dashboards two, are great. If you're doing, doing coke off you're of doing oh, cocaine a, on a, a shagger. Yeah. If you're doing cocaine <laughs> off a carpet, it needs to be a nice inlaid, like yeah, Oriental yeah. Azerbaijani like, carpet. Right. Right. in Germany or where was that? The, Russia. 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 Um, the my number one memory of that car is we used to drive it to the pool in the summer when I was a little kid. And I remember constantly sticking to the vinyl oh, yeah. seats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, in the, in the shag really carpet, it makes it hotter in there. It, it does. It, it gathers the black, heat. The black shag carpet. Yeah, yeah it gathers it absolutely heat. Absolutely does. Yeah. All right. Well, this well, is, okay. Well, I, I was, should, go ahead. let me say, um, cause I was in, in Scott's camp with this um, and then we can go to the cards, but I, Please. You know, I, I saw this. I've seen I haven't seen all of Altman's films, but I've seen a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm a big fan. Uh Hayden I don't Mrs. I, Miller's on my short list. I don't like all of them. I like most of them. Um, but I hadn't seen this ever either. And I was like, and I felt how Scott felt. I watched it about three years ago and I said, Where the fuck has this been? Uh, this is my favorite Altman film out of the all the ones I've seen. I think it is weird. I, I agree with most of the things everybody's saying. I disagree with the Lynch. I think it's a different. I understand how you could similar look at it that vibe, way. but not the same vibe. Yeah, but I think it's vibe. different, right? I think this is a little. I think I think Altman's doing his own thing here. Um, I it's just don't think it's as good. Well, it's not. It's not. I, I don't. I don't think it's the Altman thing, like um, like Nashville or 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 even um, or just Mash. all that over over or Mash, McLeod, yeah, the, the, or like a, or, right. Uh, but I still think player. it's very. But I think the camera work is very much him in this. Yeah. Um, I think so the tone good. is very much him all in that this. Zoom. The zooms the, are, you know, and I, I, I just think it's a, I think this is a piece of art. Room. And as with the such, exception, I, with the exception of the music, I won't take anything away from this movie. Technically, yeah, like, yeah. No, yeah, you're I, right. I, no, this, yeah. I even like the music, though. I, I, I just think this works on a level that I really yeah. enjoyed visiting. As right. I've said many times, I, I have two, I have two axes. I have, is this good, and did I like it? And this is just slightly in the I didn't like it, but it's way over on the. Well, still, good. Well, a, a great. Pick Jared. I gave thumbs time in. So, the performances uh, no, are on. really good. More. Well There's done. More I, this was. Like Jim, we got Jim. Jim. Uh, so 
if I you did. haven't seen it, uh, every time I saw this movie, it was always playing with images. Which oh, was God, the why? The year before. <laughs> you should watch that now if you haven't seen it. I have not no, seen it. Let's go to the thing. Is, is, it, is it hard, harder to get through than this, Jim? Is that what uh, you're saying? It's more dreamlike than this. Oh, good Lord. Oh, so, Lord. So yeah. Images was in between this and now. You give me I, flashbacks to like Sashmill, basically, but that's the problem. The old I mean, art, the, the old this movie, movie is off-putting to me, as as Altman often is, and I struggled with it mightily. Except the other one you just lapped up, huh? Okay. Which one? <laughs> Again, the, we're, we're going the last I, haven't had my, I really haven't had my no. say yet, Scott. Sorry, John, let, let, let's let John I go. I John. I'm, I sorry, the, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think the performances are good. I think Sissy Spacek in, in particular is amazing. That transformation she goes through is really compelling to see. Um, if this is a movie where it's like, I'm glad I saw it. It's kind of like, I'm glad I got my teeth cleaned, but I didn't particularly enjoy the experience. Um, and and I hate the art. I fucking hate those paintings. And really? I don't know why you were ooing and lying over them. I, 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 I don't, I don't, well, I don't I think like you're I, supposed to love them. I, I think they're they supposed suck. to be grotesque. I guess we're not they done yet. So <laughs> I used to subscribe to a magazine called Juxtapose that was like, do the, all these articles on like, I, I know that magazine. That's an amazing art. magazine. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. amazing, but it's also really hot and cold for me. It's like there's whole sections of it where I just flip through it. Like that's trash. That's shucks. That's you know what? Because oh, you don't live in because you, know, you don't live in Los Angeles. That's the thing. Well, yeah. And and again, I, I I agree that I don't think you are necessarily supposed to like the paintings. The paintings are saying something about the artist. But the he thing, but lavishes they're... so much attention on them. It's like oh god, we're mm -hmm. cutting back to them again. Now we're going to dissolve Be, back. Because forth. again, she doesn't speak. speak. And, and Scott this nailed it. Is this is, they're speaking for her. her. Yeah. This is yeah. all of her She's characters. setting the tone. She's, like they, the, they, she's the owner of the film. This is I going think they're back saying to, well, torment. Yeah. yeah her, sexual, her husband. Sex. Yeah. Her husband's a horrible monster who's tormenting her constantly. Yeah. And, and he's obsessed like, with And she owns and the film and she's painting the background. And... It's also painting the background for a play, basically. She's right. making the backdrops for what's happening in the foreground. Yeah, like a Greek tragedy. Painting and it it's on the, telling and it's telling uh, Spacek's character everything about her. Yes. Like she is learning everything about this woman every time she stops and looks at one of those paintings. Like she may not even know it. Like it so could why be didn't she screwed. so she has no sympathy for her, and that's why she didn't go get a doctor when she was having No, a, she froze up. She just froze up, I think. Yeah. And know. going and getting I thought it was aggressive. I thought it was a, 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 a uh, intentionally wow, aggressive act. She's sobbing. Totally not done. <laughs> she's sobbing. And mm -hmm. and the that that scene is her reverting. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. she's got like she's undoing the transformation. Yeah, because after that she becomes that the scene. daughter again. Right. Yeah. And, exactly and, right. and 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 Shelly shifts to the mother. So yeah, that is it. That is another shift. For all right. of the characters, like right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, yeah, That's a and also, and also, the doctor wouldn't have saved the the baby, like the, right. the, the like no. it, it, they were so no, they're so it was far a out. Fucking medical emergency. She should have gotten yeah. the guard. Yeah. It was so the seventies, man. It was all like life was cheap back then. They're so far out in the middle of nowhere too. Like that doctor is not going to get there for an hour. Not in time. Like, well, she's got to drive all the way back to yeah, town. But labor can and go Edgar's on like, for what can hours. I do? I don't we need to be there. What was going to happen? You don't yeah. need to right. be there. That was Edgar, horrible. Edgar is the person who did wrong in that situation because he right, just abandoned. I would argue they both did wrong. Uh, yeah. I don't think so because I think she froze up, and you can't blame yeah. somebody for Shit, freezing. Remember up. Tokyo Story? They let that old lady die on the floor of the kitchen. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to give uh, Altman <laughs> a credit for making a feminist story, but it's close. Yeah, I think this movie is of its time, and this, um, this definitely, it, this I definitely is is, is a, a, it's a success on the Brechtel test for sure. Oh, oh yeah, way, <laughs> way. Is there an anti? Bechdel test is there? Uh, are there this any? The reverse are there two, are there two test, male exactly. characters? But they never who... talk about male characters. Or anything. All right, this well, is. And are there two I don't think there's a male character in a conversation about I, I'm, I'm, okay. it. Okay, I, I am actually. Women. I'm pulling the plug. Thumbs. I'm going to stopping right now. Come on. I mean, right. I'm at Love like it. eighty. I'm at like eighty percent. John, I have no thumbs. I don't know. Oh man, no interesting. That's actually good. I have no, no thumbs. Take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I thought he was going to go like this. I have no thumbs. I'm going to ask you next <laughs> yeah. week how you feel and about it. He's going to do, he's gonna do yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I have no thumbs. Ooh. Honestly, if you're still not sure, I think that's a good thing. 